And it's almost time for day two of my uh, electronics class over Hangouts on Air. Uh, this time we'll be covering uh, some silicon components, including diodes, transistors, and integrated circuits, all of which are, are important parts of our daily electronic lives. Uh, we'll also be touching on alternating current. And uh, finally, we'll be, we'll be building a circuit uh, which you can uh, follow along with. We'll be building a circuit called a, a Drool Thief, which will let us use the uh, the residual voltage left in uh, what would normally be considered a dead battery and uh, make it useful. Uh, and so to do that, we'll be lighting it up an LED. So first of all, you'll need an LED. Uh, there's several ones to choose from, but you'll probably want uh, a bright white or a bright blue LED. Uh, you also need a 1 kilo ohm resistor, a, uh, a general purpose uh, NPN transistor. In uh, our case, we'll be using a 3904 uh, transistor, although a 3901 transistor would be desirable, it would work as well, or a uh, just a generic switching uh, transistor, a 2N quadruple 2 would work as well. You'll also need a, a toroid. Uh, this will be a bit difficult to find. I'm not sure if Radio Shack keeps it in stock, uh, but you can uh, salvage it out of uh, a lot of dead electronics, old power supplies, um, or old uh, CFLs. If you take a Dremel tool carefully to the uh, base of a CFL, you can generally recover the uh, toroid that we'll need. You'll also need a, a, a length of uh, preferably solid core wire. Uh, just any sort of thin wire. And to put it all together, there's a few ways we can construct it. I would recommend using a breadboard. Uh, it'll make it easy to uh, stick components in. You just need a small one, just small enough to uh, fit all our component leads in. Uh, or if you'd like something more permanent, you can get a uh, soldering iron and some 4060 solder. So if you uh, would like to follow along, um, we'll be more than happy to help you and I hope to see you there.